Hey everyone, this is exercise 1.4, first question and this whole exercise is about the division of integers. The question is, evaluate each of the following and the first question is minus 30 divided by 10. So you have to divide the integers here, so it's like a normal dividing a number, but only thing is you have to make sure about the signs. Okay, so let's start the first question. It's minus 30 divided by 10. So I'm going to write this in a fractional form, so which will be equal to minus 30 divided by 10. Now you just do normal division, you just do a cancellation how you do it for the normal, normal natural numbers or whole numbers. And then later we're going to worry about the sign. So when you cancel this, we'll get 10 ones are 10, 10 threes are 30. So we got here 3 and there's only one negative sign, right? So it will be minus. Okay. If there are two negative signs, the signs will get cancelled, we'll get positive sign. If we have a one negative sign in the given num in the given quotient or drop in the problem, we're gonna get the minus sign, right? Then the next question: 50 divided by minus 5. Again, I'm gonna write this in a fractional form. So 50 divided by minus 5, right? Now cancel this in 5 table, 5 ones are and 5 tens are 50. So this is equal to 10 upon minus 1 or uh, you can also write this as minus 10. Now I have seen I have seen a lot in this comment that my answer is wrong, wrong because I have written negative sign in the denominator or I have written a negative sign in the numerator or something else. So if you see here the both are equivalent. 10 upon minus 1 or minus 10, the both are equal. I guess you have learned how to, uh, uh, the rational numbers, like uh, equivalent rational numbers, if you have done it, the both are same. So 10 upon minus 1 or minus 10, the both are negative integer as a whole. So the if you can write in this way also, the answer is correct, it's a minus 10. Then the next one, it's problem C. Then the next, here we have minus 36 divided by minus 9. So if I write this in fractional form, it is minus 36 divided by minus sign. So I'm going to first cancel the numbers in 9 table directly 9 ones are 9 fours are 36. Now if you see in this question, we have a two negative signs, so signs will also get cancelled. So we'll get here 4 by 1 or you can directly write down 4. Then the next one. So we have minus 49 divided by 49. So if I write this in fractional form, so 49 divided by minus 49 divided by 49 cancels in 49 table. 49 ones are 49 ones are. So I'll here I'll get minus 1 by 1, or you can directly write down minus 1. Then the next one, because there's only one negative sign, so we're gonna get negative sign in the final answer. That is problem E. 13 divided by minus 2 plus 1 so they have given brackets right so if they, they have given brackets we have to solve the bracket first so 13 divided by now if you see here we have minus 2 plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 so plus into uh, plus minus here you're adding a integers with a different sign minus 2 and plus so if you're adding an integer with different sign then you have to subtract it so 13 divide by subtract the numbers 2 minus 1 will be 1 but the sign will be of a number which is greater 2 is greater its sign is minus so we'll get minus 1 so i'm going to write down this in a fractional form so this will be equal to 13 divided by minus 1 or you can write down this as minus 13. now i'm not explaining here why they are like you can write down in this way also i have already explained this in many of my video why they both are equal if you have learned how what are the equal and rational number then you'll understand this so the next one We have 0 divided by minus 12. Now whenever you're dividing 0 with any number, your answer is always 0. No matter if it's a negative number, it's a positive number. If you're dividing a 0 with any number, your answer is always 0. So answer is 0 here. I'm not solving this because it's obvious that the answer will be 0. Then the next one, that is problem G. So here we have minus 31 divided by minus 30 plus minus 1 and then close the bracket 
So first we have to solve the bracket part. So minus 31 divided by, now here we have a two integers with the same sign, minus and minus, right? So minus minus is plus, so you adding, you adding an integer with same sign means you have to add them. So 30 plus 1 will be 31 and the sign will be negative because both numbers have a negative sign so you don't have to check the number is greater or smaller because both have negative signs so we'll get minus 31. Now the next one we have to divide it so it will be equal to minus 31 divided by minus 31. So numbers will get cancelled and negative signs will also get cancelled so we will get the answer 1. 31 ones are 31 ones are right so we will get the answer 1. Then the next one that is problem h so minus 36 divided by 12 again divide by 3. Now we are going to solve the bracket part first. So if I divide the bracket part here, it will be minus 36 divided by 12. Okay, And then we have a 3. This will be equal to, you can cancel this in 12 table, 12 ones are, 12 threes are 36. So minus 3 will get here because only negative si one negative sign is there means you are going to get the negative sign. So minus 3 divided by this 3. So this is equal to minus 3 upon 3. 3 and 3 will get cancelled. We will get the answer 1. And there is a negative, one negative sign. So we will get minus 1. Then the last one. That is problem I. So we have minus 6 plus 5. Close the bracket. Divide by. We have a 2 square brackets here. So we are going to solve the bracket part first. So minus 6 plus 5. So minus 6 is negative, 5 is positive, you are adding here. So you are adding a 2 integer with different sign or the opposite sign which means you have to subtract them. So 6 minus 5 is 1 and then you have to put the sign of a number which is greater. 6 is greater, its sign is negative so we will get minus 1 Okay, divided by the other bracket. Minus 2 plus 1, again we have an integer with opposite signs which have to subtract them. So 2 minus 1 is 1 and since 2 is greater, its sign is negative, we will get minus 1 here. Now we are dividing here minus 1 by minus 1. So they will get cancelled each other. We will get the answer 1. We will not get the answer 0. Here we are dividing it. We are not subtracting here. If you are subtracting, you will get the answer 0. We are dividing here. So my negative signs will get cancelled. 1 divided by 1 is 1. So we will get the answer 1. So that's it. It's very simple. Uh, you have to just do a normal division. Only thing is you have to take care about the signs. And uh, that's it. In case you have further question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.